Hey, I'm Brian Goulet of GouletPens.com. And, you know, I know how it starts. You get one pen, you think, hey, this is pretty cool. Maybe you get another pen, maybe you kind of get into it. Maybe you get something different. You might start out with a Pilot Metropolitan or a Lamy Safari, or maybe a Platinum Preppy, you know, just ease your way into it. And then you start to get different colors, maybe some different nib sizes. And before you know it, this fountain pen thing is kind of turn into an obsession. So you end up with pens that are in your pencil cup. Maybe you keep them in their pen cases. You may have some in your backpack, your purse, your briefcase, your desk drawer, or in your bathroom sink after you've cleaned it. You know, you end up with pens everywhere. And you're looking around and you're saying, I need a better way to store all my pens. I totally get where you're coming from. I've been there, I am there. Even to this day, I'm struggling to figure out how to store my pens. So one thing that I've found that's kind of cool that's just recently come out is the new 36 slot pen case from Monteverde. It's pretty straightforward setup. It's a pen case that holds pens. I don't really know how to jazz it up much more than that. It's got a nylon cover with a faux leather binding and the stitching is pretty solid. Inside you've got a faux velvet interior which keeps the finish of the pen from getting scratched the single loop elastic band holds the pens in place and it holds everything from the skinny little Lamy CP1 to the big fat Montblanc 149 or Jin Hao 159. The divider folds over one side of the pens and keeps the two sides separated and safe from each other. So one thing that I can see as a drawback to this particular case is the fact that it's got the single loop and not a double loop like some other cases out there have. Um, theoretically, pens can bump into each other going side to side. However, my experience has been that this isn't really that much of an issue, except if you have a case that's full of pens and you're like really just banging this thing around and there's an opportunity for the pens to move a little bit. But even then, it's not that much force that's actually happening. And I've never really seen this being an issue. But really, if you're gonna be jerking this thing around that much, it's probably better for you to look into some kind of hard case anyway, and not a soft one like this. So the Monteverde pen case isn't really something that I would consider to be a premium product, but then it's not a premium price either. And if you're like me, then you know that every dollar that you spend on pen storage is one less that you get to spend on a new pen or a bottle of ink, something cool like that. So for $40, 36 pens, that's $1.11 per pen. It's gonna be pretty tough to find a more affordable option, especially something that is portable like this and, you know, pretty presentable. I'm actually using several of these to store my own pens. So if you wanna learn more about the Monteverde pen case, you can get up-to-date specs and information on gouletpens.com. If you liked this video and you want more like it, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching and right on.